Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to play sound through TeamSpeak. To do this all you need to do is head on over to the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page you now need to select your version of Windows and we're going to select version 1.1 B1. I'm going to go ahead and select 64 bit. Once you've clicked on 64 bit or 32 bit, you then need to press open with TeamSpeak free. Obviously, you do need to have TeamSpeak installed on your computer to open this up. Once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and press OK, and you will end up with a window that looks like this. You now need to press install, and you need to go yes, and you need to go a yes again. Once TeamSpeak has restarted or you've opened TeamSpeak up, you should hopefully have a window that says Playlist. That means the plugin has worked absolutely fine. If you don't have this window, then all you need to do is go to Tools, Options, then you need to go to Add-ons and scroll down until you find Soundboard and just make sure it's enabled. Once you've enabled the plugin, you can then go to Plugins, Soundboard, then press Show Playlist, and that will show the playlist window. Now we've got the playlist window up, we can add a song. If we just press the little plus sign here, and then find a song we want to add, for example here, I've got a .mp3 file. I'm going to go ahead and open that file up, and as you can see, it's been added to my playlist. If I now jump into a server, I can then play this song through the server. I'm going to go ahead and join a TeamSpeak server. As you can see, we're now in a TeamSpeak channel and at the moment my blue dot is not lit up. But if I double click on this song, my blue dot now lights up. There are also other options we can do. If we go to our plugins, then go to soundboard and show soundboard. We can add lots of songs into these empty tabs. For example, here I've got Alan, which is another song I added. But if we go across to the empty space, I can now right click and set a caption. I can call it whatever I want, for example, test. I can then right click again and go sound. I can now choose another song. For example, here I'm just going to select the same song again. And now if I was to click on test, it now plays the song again and you can add loads of songs in all these empty tabs for example if you want to add just like three second song clips then that's great it's basically your own little soundboard and it's brilliant i hope this tutorial has helped if it has hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials